Welcome to another episode of Dan Factoids. In this episode we're going to be talking about sinus surgery and diving. Sinus surgery is one of the solutions that may be offered in the case of acute or more likely chronic sinusitis. Now sinusitis means that there is inflammation in the mucosa of the sinuses of course and that this produces equalizing problems when diving. Now acute sinusitis is usually part of a head cold and may occur once or twice a year. We do not recommend that people dive during acute sinusitis. Chronic sinusitis is a slightly different animal and by that I mean that about 50% of divers with chronic sinusitis actually find that diving improves their chronic sinusitis. The usual treatment for chronic sinusitis is a nasal cortisone spray that reduces the inflammation in the sinus passages but that is not always enough. In certain cases so-called functional endoscopic sinus surgery is required in which an endoscope is introduced into the nose and then used to actually remove the offending tissue to allow the sinuses to drain. Nowadays there are image related ways in which the sinuses can be explored and specific blockages removed and lastly there are even so-called medicated stents which means a tube to keep the sinus open for a period of time and actually medicate or reduce the inflammation that is causing sinus malfunction. The question that we got though was from a diver and the interesting part is the following. I plan a dive course in Sedwana in December and I performed skydiving several years ago. At that stage I had no problems and I was diving from about 13,000 feet. Should I declare sinus surgery on my medical questionnaire and would it present a problem with diving? Well the simple answer of course is yes technically it is sinus surgery. But the pressure change from 13,000 feet to sea level to the surface is the equivalent of about 6 meters underwater and the greatest pressure volume change occurs within the first 5 to 6 meters. If the sinuses did not cause any problems within those 13,000 feet it's unlikely for them to cause problems during diving. So therefore my suggestion is to mark that sinus surgery is relevant but most likely not going to be a cause of problems during diving. Thank you for posing these interesting questions. Remember to subscribe to our damn channel and please do pose your questions. They're fascinating and we learn with you and uh, of course they're always the oddballs and things that we don't think of that divers sometimes need to ask. Until next time, bye bye.